Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Allie. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and join my YouTube family. Also, go check out my Instagram. Today we have coffee and chill and I'm really excited about this one because this has been something that's been requested since close to the beginning of my channel. Um, I've always showed you guys skincare and, um, or even talked about skincare a lot. And you guys know I've been getting Face Tori for so long and I do their like unboxing. For the most part, it was every month, but now it slowly has not been happening because I have their like seasonal subscription now. So it's not as often, but because of Face Tori and because of my love for skincare, I have accumulated so many sheet masks. And this has actually been requested several times for me to show you guys my sheet mask collection. And honestly, I was kind of like torn on doing this video because my sheet masks just kind of come and go. It's not really something that stays in my collection, you know, like once you use it, you have to throw it away. So yeah, it's not really like a product that's going to stay in my drawer in a jar or something like that. So I've kind of always just been torn on doing a video like that. So I thought, what better time to do it than in a coffee and chill so I can drink my coffee, I can do a sheet mask, and then we can talk about the sheet mask I have in my collection. I try to go with other masks in my collection to use them instead of using a mask that I'm going to be throwing away a lot. But please don't come at me because I have so many sheet masks. I am a skincare junkie and a lot of these have accumulated over time, so I do use sheet mask and I love sheet mask. I will continue to use them, but yeah, I just don't do it as often anymore because of how much product of waste there is. But I do have a lot built up over time. The cool thing about Face Tori's subscription that I'm on now is although you do get a lot of sheet masks, you're also getting other skincare products too. So it's not as intense with sheet masks every single month because I used to get their seven Lux, So I got seven sheet masks every month. And between that and other subscriptions and then me buying sheet masks, there's just a lot. So you guys are probably thinking, Allie, when is your skin ever going to heal up at this point? I don't even know myself. It is very agitated right now. It must just be... The, my time of month and it's just trying to get over it now. By the time it clears up, it'll be my time of month again. <laughs> I was going to use this from Medius because it's a moisture mask and I think that sounds so nice right now, but I can't remember the consistency of this mask and I want to be able to talk to you guys and not have a mask sliding all around my face when I show you guys my sheet masks back here. So... Instead of that, I'm gonna actually just apply one of my favorite sheet masks of all time. So I know how it is. I know that it's gonna work really well with my skin. And also I like this type of sheet mask because it like suctions down to my skin and I don't have to like worry about it moving all over the place when I'm trying to talk. This is from Better Skin. I first found Better Skin through Face Tori. Most of my sheet masks I have found through Face Tori that I fall in love with, but I absolutely love this. I love the consistency. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting it on. They have some different ones. This is their antioxidant sheet mask, so this is gonna be really good at trying to clear up the skin that I have going on. The cool thing about this one is that there is like a, you guys can kind of see it, it's kind of like a film over it, but on both sides. This one's kind of like the little fishnet filling one, so I take the other film off first, so I leave the fishnet film on. There might be a better way of applying these, but this is what has worked out best for me because this film is more like structured, so it's hard to get it to flatten on your face for application. And that's where with this one, it's more flimsy, so you can just press the sheet mask right on, which I'm gonna go ahead and do. Still can be a little tricky because as you guys can see, the sheet mask is very thin. But what I love about it is that since it is very thin like that, it just suctions right onto my face. I don't have to just keep worrying about patting it down. These type of masks are hands down my favorite when it comes to uh, application, wearing, and everything. Because like I said, I can just sit here and have a conversation with you guys. Yeah, I still look crazy because it's a sheet mask. But what I love about it is the fact that I really don't have to worry about it as often. You guys will probably still see me 
you know, pushing it down on around here. But for the most part, it's literally like suctioned down and I love that. So a lot of these masks, like I said, that I'm gonna mention are from Face Tori. So you can actually get on Face Tori and shop a lot of the masks that they put in their boxes, which is amazing because if you fall in love with the mask, you can buy it there on top of several other brands. So you're not just having to buy from one brand. This mask that I'm wearing retails for $7, so it is a little bit more. I feel like it definitely is more because of having the extra like little application pieces that I talked about, but it is made with premium volcanic ash. And I've done, I've talked about this mask before, like on my Instagram and stuff. I've done Instagram videos and Better Skin actually reached out to me and sent me like, a box for me and friends and I sent some to my friend Max and I just love them so much but the brand was so kind as well and I just always love that but since I have a stockpile I still have a couple more left even after this one I just love these masks so much I like to keep my sheet mask on anywhere from like 15 to 30 minutes but you don't want your mask to dry down because when your mask dries down it actually starts taking the moisture back out of your skin so keep that in mind when you wear a sheet mask and also if you have extra essence in your packet I've mentioned this before too in face Tory videos, but you can actually roll it down and stick it in your fridge and save it for the next day and use the essence all over your face again. Really handy trick and I love doing that, especially when it's in your fridge. Like it just feels so nice on your skin and it is just an awesome serum on your face, especially if you have like really like agitated skin at the time, I would know. Okay, so I've showed you guys my drawers over here to the side um, and my makeup collection. They're just like the black rolly carts. One is dedicated just to skincare. And this is labeled sheet mask. This is one drawer and it is filled with sheet masks. So I'm going to talk about these. But sadly, I have another drawer that's almost completely filled with sheet masks too. So I want to touch base on that one today as well. This video is going to be pretty repetitive because I'm sure I'm just going to be saying a lot of the same things over and over again. Fair warning, but I still want to make this rather fast, so we're just going to go through this. So I have this one right here from Face Tori. It's a Glow Baby Glow. It is a brightening and soothing mask. I have another one from them that's supposed to be really good, like, after, like, a sunburn. So it's, like, way to help your skin, like, after a sunburn. So I've kind of kept it aside in case I have one of those moments. I've been pretty good about my SPF, though, so I don't think I will. Knock on wood. I have this Medius Moisture Plus, which I talked about a while ago. I thought about using this one because of the moisturizing benefits, but again, I don't know if this one is a clinging one like this. I have tried a lot from Medius, and I'm pretty sure they're not. I think they're just your standard sheet mask, but they make really like incredible masks. This one is from Dr. Plus. It's the Banana Milk Mask Pack. This one is always so intri intriguing to me and I keep wanting to try it out, but then I'm just like, it's so cute. I need to put it like in an Instagram video. I need to try it out. Milk masks always are amazing to me because they're so soothing. This one is from NOHJ Modeling Mask Serum. And I actually have tried this mask before. It's kind of like a gold looking mask, but it's kind of like a foil. I don't like those as much as like masks like this. I feel like they're not as hydrating for me, but a lot of the time those have really good like, sorry, this mask is slipping down here because I'm talking so much. But a lot of the time those have really good firming and anti-aging benefits. This one here is from Frenvita Perfect Skin Adhesion white gold glow mask so it's like a gold mask the one gin effect is another one that makes really good mask a lot of the time they are the three step and so it has a toner an eye lifting gel and then your actual mask cosma tea green tea soothing moisture mask i always love green tea masks because they are so soothing especially on skin like i have if i have a flare-up or it's my time of the month. These are amazing because they are so soothing. This one I try to kind of stay away from. It's from Lapcos. It is their Skin First Oil Wrap Mask. It is chamomile. I think it's going to be a very relaxing mask as well, soothing, but I stay away from oil mask a lot just because of the word oil. I'm just like, 
I'm usually not about that life unless I'm going to bed and I'm putting a facial oil on, but to sit there and wear one, I'm just kind of like, uh, just the word kind of turns me off for a mask, but I definitely need to give it a go. I think I have a couple of oil masks in my collection still. Um, another face, Tori, Ace That Face Collagen Mask. I love collagen masks as well. Um, this one I feel like I haven't used to for the whole reason of wanting to do like a cute skincare video with it because it looks like an ace of hearts. So cute. I have quite a few from this brand as well. This is the Hello Skin and they always have like really cute like cartoon images on their pack. I'm not really sure what mask this is. It is not in English. But Face Toy always sends out these little like info cards. So I actually keep all of mine so that I can go to it if I'm not sure about like masks like that and I can read more on it in English. This one is a white flower mask. It is for whitening and anti wrinkle by Wang Skin. Shionel Pollutant Defending Mask. I like their mask as well. And these are so like compact, easy to travel with. They don't take up so much room. Simply Win has some really good masks too. I have not tried this one, but I have tried, I think one of their moisturizing masks and it was really good. This is their Illuminate Dual Looking Skin um, Snow Song Mask. This one looks rather beaten up, but it's from Bon Vivant, their Botanical Mask Pack. And I have tried one of these. I think I got a pack of two in my Ipsy. So I have tried the other one and I remember this one being pretty soothing. It is a chamomile and tea tree. So those are usually pretty soothing for your skin as well. Cermetic makes some really good masks. This is, I believe one of the like bubbling ones if I'm not mistaken. Maybe it's not, but I think it is one that you do have to like wash off. Um, I think I have tried one of these before as well and really like it, but it has like a carbonated water in it. So it kind of like bubbles into your pores, really good at cleaning those pores. Kiyom White Mulberry Hydration. I'm always down for a good hydration mask. This one is very intriguing to me as well. It actually comes with a little, um, one of like those little oil pill things that you have to pop open to put the oil on first and then the mask. Again, I'm still always like a little torn on masks that involve oil, but this is definitely more of like an intriguing option because they make it a little bit more fun since you get to kind of like pop one of those oil pills. <laughs> uh, I love the packaging on their stuff. Dr. Alethea, it is their herb Therapy Velvet Mask, which sounds amazing. This is just another one where I'm like, I need to do something extra with it because it's just too pretty. Um, this is from BioBell. They make some awesome sheet masks as well. This is their Unicorn Glow. I loved this one. I have used this one before and it is a really nice mask. Avatara makes amazing masks as well. I have used theirs. A uh, magic bubble mask. I love bubble sheet masks because they are so good at cleansing your pores. Try one and thank me later. Keep Cool and Ocean Mask. Not really sure which this one is from, but it's supposed to be intensive hydrating. So I'm sure this one is a good one when it comes to dry skin. Um, Royal Skin Anti-Wrinkle Bio Cellulose Mask. So a good like anti-aging one. Bocros. Rose Mask Pack. It has 100% natural roses in it for whitening and anti-wrinkle ultra moisturizing. That one sounds so bougie. Some of these I'm just going over rather quickly because I have not tried them. If I have tried a mask from them or I have tried that certain mask, I'll let you know. But this is just my collection. Mer Bliss Nurse Healing Intense Soothing Gauze Seal Mask. Has a cute nurse uniform on it. This is the other brand that I was telling you always has like the really cute cartoon going on. But um, this one just says water splash sheet mask. Another nurse one, it says whitening and also supposed to improve skin tone. This is another oil mask that I've kind of been like Ugh, about, but it is supposed to be a really good deep nourishing mask. It is the two steps, so you have your face oil you put on and then the sheet mask that you put on and very fun packaging. Nada, the yellow sheet mask. I haven't really um, tried out any of theirs, 
but it is rather cute packaging. Phil XO Glowing Marigold Mask. I have used one of theirs before and it was pretty good. I have some that Riley Rose had sent over from OK. I have the Cucumber Sheet Mask which is supposed to be like a soothing one, calm and cooling. Their avocado sheet mask, which is supposed to be like a silky one. That sounds so nice, I love avocado. But I also have their glowing skin gold foil mask to try out. And then the antioxidant coffee bean hydrogel sheet mask to try out, which sounds so nice. And I do really like the mask that I have tried out. I did like three different videos for them trying out OK's uh, sheet mask and I really like them. They have a really good bubble mask. A dark choco mask, deep hydration, refreshing. Sierra Herb Restore sheet mask. Another dual bubble um, sheet mask. Again, I love my bubble sheet masks. Ali C Caffeine Rush. I did really like this. I felt like it wasn't like an amazing sheet mask. I got this in my Ipsy, so I got like a pack of two again. I tried one, but it wasn't bad either. Another gold mask. This is from Gold Duck's Egg, but it's like a foil mask. And like I said, I try to wear a foil mask here and there for like the anti-aging purposes because a lot of the time they're anti-aging ones, but I'm more for needing like intense hydration when I'm reaching for a um, sheet mask, so I don't reach for it as often. This one I've always thought was really cute and I still want to try it out because it is a aqua ring mask. So it's for sensitive and dry skin. So it's supposed to be pretty moisturizing, but I just think it's so cute. Rose Lab Essence Mask right here. These MDs Pick Beauty Pro. I don't know yesterday brightening mask. This brand is really good. I've tried some of their masks and really liked them. Bano Skin Renew Program Mask, revitalizing. I think this is a two step, or no, it just has like the one that goes down here and the one that goes up here. Those are usually rather uncomfortable for me. Um, this is the type that like wrap around your ear, but I have tried this brand before and I really did enjoy it. This brand, I have not tried this mask, but one of their other ones I tried and I mentioned it a long time ago, the whole time I was wearing it, I smelled cigarette smoke and I just couldn't really do it like the whole time wearing it. I'm allergic to cigarette smoke, so the smell of it sometimes gives me like some anxiety. <laughs> so I really didn't like it. It was not this one. I think it was like in a pink or like red packaging. But because of that, I think that's why I haven't reached for this again. It is kind of like a jelly essence and this one's supposed to be soothing. So I may give it a go. This is one from Doof and Dolph Hydra Soother, which sounds amazing. I need to try that. Another face Tory, oh my goodness, rejuvenating snail mask. Snail masks are incredible for your skin. This is a rose gold 24 mask from 23 years old. They make some pretty good masks as well. I have this mask, which is a green tea mask, which I really need to try out. When there's really cute packaging, sometimes I'm just like, I can't do it, I gotta hold on to it. But I did get this one from my friend Max, so I need to try it out, but it is green tea and I love some green tea. Another oil one that I told you guys about. You guys kind of know my thoughts on that. Um, one Gen Effect, I've mentioned them a while ago too. They do like the three-step mask. I love these and I've tried a few of theirs. This one has honey milk in it and like it's just honey themed and that sounds amazing for my skin. I'm sorry for my skin, Black Mud Mask Tightening. Um, I don't wear masks like this all too often just because of my dry skin, but when I have really bad and large pores, masks like these are amazing if you're not wanting an intense like actual clay mask. Another one from 23 years old, they have such nice packaging. I know it's kind of excessive and extra waste, but it, I mean, it's nice. Then we have Dr. Lola, the Cloud Key London Shopper. It says wrinkle iron. I think this is supposed to be like a anti-aging one, I'm assuming. And then also this little nifty mask here. You have your sheet mask over here and then the product is over here. So you actually pull this off and tear this off and dump it in there. Extra steps, but I do think the idea is really cool. And these are the cards I was telling you guys about from Face Tori. I have kept so many and you guys can kind of see some of the masks that I talk about um, on here that I just like to keep these in case there's a mask I really like. I can circle it or something that I want to get some more of it. Um, 
But besides that, like the masks that I still have from on these, I know a little bit more about them as well. That is the first drawer, so I'm going to go ahead and grab the second one. This drawer was supposed to be for something else, but since I have such a problem with sheet masks, they have been accumulating in here and I definitely need to be using them a lot more. I believe, I'm going to go ahead and take this off, but I believe it's probably been close to a year ago, I did a seven days of sheet mask and I said I was going to do it again, but I just haven't. So if you guys are interested in something like that, let me know. I'm pretty sure I did that on my channel, but it's been so long ago. I can't really remember. I know that I said I don't like to use them so often, but since I have so many, I do think it would be really cool to do seven days of sheet mask again. So let me know if you guys would want something like that. I have this one here from XOY and it is their Calendula mask, super cute packaging. Her release, I have talked about a lot on my channel and I'm actually doing a video somewhat related to them that's coming, it should be this week, so be on the lookout for that. But I love Purely's skincare so much. These are the Blue Lotus and White Tea and I have tried this mask before and I really like it. These I got recently in a mystery box from FabFitFun, but I love that sheet mask so much. These also came in that mystery box, the Karuna Brightening Face Mask, so I need to give those a go. I did recently get sent some um, Clear Skin Yes to Tomatoes mask from Yes To, and I still have this one to try out, which is the Detoxifying and Hydrating Black and White Charcoal Mask. This super cute one that has the little strawberry slices. It's a slice sheet mask from Coco Star. I'm kind of wanting to do like a photo op with that. Like, it's just so cute. I have the Aqua Rush Pearl Mask, which again, is so pretty. I need to actually start taking some pictures of these. It's Chia Miracle Marine Collagen Mask, which is, some of these packagings might be kind of hard for you guys to see. The Factor, some of these are some of the sheet masks that I just recently got in my face tori, so I'll link my most recent face tori, it's their summer box, up here if you want to go check it out. And I don't know if their summer box is still available or not, but I'm pretty sure it is. I don't think the next, the fall one hits until September. Meg, I have tried plenty of their masks, I love them. They come with a swab over here, it's an AHA pilling swab that you run over your face and then you have your jelly mask to put on. Really like that brand. Step by Step Moisturizing Mask. I've never tried this one, it's from Gallantry. Really cute though. Face Tori Soothe Me Tea Tree. Um, this one, I don't know why it's in here because I actually have these set aside for that video I still have not filmed, but it's from Leaders, another one of my favorite brands. I don't know if I have any other mask in here from them, but they create some pina colada and masks like that that have the same effect as Better Skin. They stick down to your face. They are so nice. I love them, but it is from Leaders amazing. I highly recommend those masks. Here's some more face story cards that I mentioned. <laughs> I have the Water Balm Jelly Mask. It is a pore care mask from Berry Sum. I like the brand Berry Sum too. They make some really good masks. Um, a couple more from Kiom of the White Mulberry Hydration. So I must have got a set of these. I think I got these for free actually when I joined the Lux Plus box from Face Tori. I think that's what it was because I also got these I Love Myself <laughs> sheet mask, but I have not tried them yet. Face Tori Be Bright Be You. Face Tori does make some awesome masks. I'm a little biased because I love Face Tori, but they do make some good masks. Another Sir Medic mask here. I do like Sir Medic. Um, Bano Boggy. I still don't know. I I know I'm butchering that, but they make the masks that have like the injection on it, and these are incredible. I love them too. There's tons of different purposes, but they're baby. I think it's called like baby skin or something like that. It's it's an amazing mask. The Pearl Brightening from Lapcoste. I have a few of their masks, but I don't know if I've ever tried them. I want to say that I have though. Um, this one's actually from Bath and Body Works. It's the Lump of Coal Charcoal Sheet Mask. I have not tried that one yet though. I got that around the holidays too, so I really need to use it. Another Banobagi 
Milk Thistle Repair Mask, which sounds amazing. Premium Dr. Athea Water Glow Skin Renewal Hydro Gel. She just makes such like satisfying packaging. And Centella Repairing Mask, which is amazing for your skin. Another one of those that you tear off and pour into here. I need to do a video on that or something. I need to try those out because I do have a couple of them. This is a tea tree fresh forward purifying and soothe mask from Rael Beauty Lab. Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mask. These are incredible. These are another ones that kind of suction down to your skin as well. I really like Tatcha's mask. A little bit on the steep price side wise, but they're nice. Escargo and Caviar Repairing Mask. Very bougie mask, and that's from Ellen Sila Instra Cell or Bua. It is a firming mask, but they played it up on the packaging with Mona Lisa. Face Tori Sun Bay. So this is the one that's supposed to be for after sun. If you get sunburned, it's supposed to be really soothing. So I've kind of like kept it just in case. Another one from Wynn. This is a really good one. It is their 10 p.m. mask. It, it's a good one. Cascati makes some really good masks as well. I have not tried this one in particular, but some of their other masks are really nice. Another Frenvita Gold Mask. Cosmo Tea Brightening Moisture Mask with White Tea. I mentioned one of these a while ago, the green tea one. This brand that I really don't want to butcher again, but this is their Refresh Mask. And we're getting down to the end. Another one that I wanted to keep because it's so cute for a video or something, but it's like um, Alice in Wonderland theme from Guteo Beauté. And I'm not really sure what this mask is called because it is not in English, but it's super cute. Face Tori Let's Talk Detox. Um, Cocoon Gold Silky Mask from 23 years old. Those are some really good ones. Um, I have this Jean Perry Rose Water Infused Hydrating Sheet Mask. Cocktail Velvet from 23 years old again. And then last two, Blooming Cell Pink Mask from CO... Lower Rim Cosmetic. I have no idea, but it is a uh, two-step mask right there. And then last one is a three-step from DAF V7 Vita, and it is their pearl mask. So it looks like that. Well, this video is definitely a mouthful and a lot longer than what I was hoping for, but I'm hoping this was not extremely boring. And for the ones that have requested this, it is finally here in my sheet mask collection. And I hope it was somewhat interesting. Like I said, you know, it is my collection and it's accumulated over time. So I haven't tried all of these. So it's hard for me to give you guys like a full on review of every mask when some of them I just haven't tried, but I hope it was somewhat helpful. If you guys are interested in some of my seven days of seven sheet masks, give me some thumbs up and I'll do some more of those because those actually sound amazing for my skin right now. Probably would help with the situation. <laughs> But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's coffee and chill. I hope you have an amazing week. Happy Monday. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.